Ready? Go! Life for Christine Lockerbie has been full of scooters and smiles since Nico entered the world. Things that were important to you before now are not as important because, you know, you find yourself wanting to prioritize the kid and spending time with the kid and doing what you need to do to make things best for him. Before Nico was born, their family got on wait lists at daycares, but Christine says once her maternity leave was up and they didn't have a spot secured, their options ran out. You know, whatever options were available last minute, I didn't feel like was a place I'd feel comfortable sending him. So we kind of crunched the numbers and figured out that me staying home with him would be the best option for our family. Crunching the numbers is a reality for almost every new family in Virginia. A new study by the United Way found the average cost of child care in Virginia is $14,500 each year, the ninth highest total in the country. Fourteen grand is more than the in-state tuition at JMU, and remember, that's just for one child. You know, daycare was already going to be half my take-home pay. Once we had a second kid, we knew it was going to be all my income. The study says low-income Virginians may spend 25 to 60 percent of their monthly income on child care and bear the largest financial burden of this crisis. You know, we were kind of barely able to get by on one income. I think it's tough for people who don't have that as an, as an option, who can't even pay their basic bills on one income. And so you have to put your kid in a child care situation that you don't feel comfortable with because it's what you can afford. Safe facilities and well-trained staff are expensive for a reason. For Lockerbie and many families, it's a head-scratching catch-22. It's really hard because to have good quality child care, it costs a lot of money, but people can't spend their whole paycheck just paying for child care. So I think in today's economy especially, it's really hard to live off of just one income. So that model doesn't work anymore. And people don't have the network and community that can watch their kid for them either. So um, yeah, I think it's, I don't know what the solution is, but we need one. There's been an exploration into this issue going on locally. On Monday, state researchers plan to release their findings on this exact topic. We'll bring you coverage next week. Janine?